I found these pretty sweet stickers down in uh, on Mission Beach in a little gift shop back to California, which never left California, but I just thought this was cool. Shut up! You don't think Ryan is famous? Cousin Ryan. You gotta... Hey, what's up, YouTube friends and family? It's Cousin Ryan, and this is an unusual spot for me to be doing a review video. I'm in a hotel room in Little Italy in San Diego, California. Just here on a little weekend trip. We will get into what this trip is about. Actually, you know what? Once we get done with the reviews here, I'll explain it to you guys. But if you're just watching for the reviews, let's get that out of the way. Except, except, I uh, went to Mission Beach today and found some street art that I thought was pretty sweet. We've got the original three Ghostbusters, minus Winston. Winston is always getting left out. Um, but clearly this is a uh, position or a pit photo taken from a photo of the Ghostbusters before Winston was hired. Um, got the Ecto-1 here, which I thought was pretty sweet. And then the Batmobile from 1989. Uh, also, another street artist was selling these painted skulls. And of course, you know what a huge Vikings fan I am. By the way, shout out to my buddy Will of the Napa County Ghostbusters, who's also a big Viking fan. Um, and then, something I was kind of excited about, I look every time there's keychains, personalized, you know, the things with the names, you see the little racks the, with the tchotchkes or whatever, you spin around and look for your name. Today is the first time in history that I have found Ryder's name on a keychain. Had to pick it up. Um, so, now let's get to these little drinks that you can find at Target. I found these at Target. People have reported finding them at Walmart. Um, they're a beverage, and there's a mini puffed toy inside. The reason I'm reviewing these here, by the way, is because I only took a carry-on with me uh, on the flight down here, and too much liquid to take back. Otherwise, I would have waited. I would have liked to have reviewed these with PJ. Um, I opened one already. I was impatient. So there's this little capsule wrapped up in the wrapping of the bottle and then you've got the little mini puffed guy right there. There appears to be six different ones. I thought there was only three. I bought three bottles. They only had three bottles. Um, let's taste the beverage first and see what we think. It's apple. Naturally apple, naturally flavored spring water with vitamins. not that great. It's not bad, it's just not that great. There's a hint of apple. It tastes like watered down apple juice, if we're going to be completely honest. So, you can see the bottle here, it's got the Ghostbuster logo on it, and then all the nutritional facts and so on. Uh, Ghostbusters Afterlife. You can see, hopefully you can see three of the available mini puffs there. The wrapper is perforated, so you should be able to just kind of peel this off um, fairly easy. Little capsule opens, and where did I set the other one? Oh, here it is. We got a different one. Right there. All right, let's open the last one and see what we got. Perforation is not. <clears throat> and I don't have my keys on me to poke a hole in this either. Sunglasses are always good for something, right? There we go. All right, let's see if we get a third different one. And. We did. This guy appears to be sticking his tongue out. So that's cool. Got three of the six, so hopefully I can find some more of these back home. Um, awesome. So the drinks, whatever, but the little marshmallow, the little mini puff guys are kind of cool. Probably, again, like everything else, stick them in the background of our YouTube studio. Um, anyway, to the reason for this trip, um, I've mentioned before on the channel that. Uh, my dad's not doing too well health-wise, and his Alzheimer's is starting to get the best of him. And uh, between my sister, my mom, and I, we're all kind of taking turns taking care of him. Um, 
I do a lot of this stuff. My sister takes care of everything while I'm at work during the day, and then I take the night shift, and it's a lot. But uh, my sister was kind enough, gracious enough to say, hey, why don't you get out of here for a weekend and just go see something else? So I threw a dart at the map and picked San Diego because I love Southern California, and that's what I'm here doing. Um, just hanging out, enjoying the scenery, eating some really good food. Uh, I've posted some pictures of food and some other things I've done on my Instagram account. Um, I will post this video later on down the road. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen the San Diego pictures. But that's what this trip is about. So yeah, it's good. I feel good uh, to get away for a little bit. Love my dad dearly, but he's just not, you know, not there anymore, which is really kind of sad. But anyway, let's not let that drag things down. Um, San Diego is a great place. Have you guys ever been here? Let me know down in the comments, all right? Uh, I've got some great recommendations for food. Mr. Moto's Pizza, the Burger Lounge. I ate a burger at Burger Lounge tonight, or Lounge Burger, excuse me, Lounge Burger. I don't know that I've ever had a better burger. Um, it was just the basic burger, and I had bacon and avocado added to it, held onions, there's pickles, lettuce, tomato. Phenomenal, phenomenal burger. A little pricey, but uh, I don't feel bad about paying it. It was really, really good. Um, I guess that's it. You know, until next time, you guys, be excellent to each other. You know, sir, it's Cousin Ryan on the Hollywood Boulevard. You know, sir, he's bigger than any superstar. All of us meet you some, some real to a bar. Some of them sweeter than any chocolate bar. Boom! Okay.